Hey you guys, this is Jess with Sourceful Journey, back with another video. So today I want to talk about a quick topic that was just very, very telling in terms of a few of the responses I received recently. Uh, so without further ado, we're going to go ahead and jump right in. So recently, just like maybe a couple of days ago, um, I put up a post about basically if you fall into a certain lifestyle, just own it. Don't run from it. Basically, hashtag be authentic, as I said in the video. Some reason, um, and it was geared towards a certain individual that is under a certain platform. And I just felt like this young lady was just like not being her authentic self. And she was tying in so much things, such as being one to stand for against sex trafficking and to be one that, um, you know, what else? Oh, she's following the whole love and light train thing. And, you know, really the details that she's put up doesn't really align with who she truly is based on past postings she put up. I mean, she's done videos, podcasts, to be more specific, where she's talking about the notion of sleeping with both the dad and the son is a normalcy. And how most women nowadays follow that path, which is a complete lie. And there's a few other things. So you have to go back and listen to the video. The point I'm trying to make is uh, that video, I think, actually ruffled a few feathers. Would you look at that? I was like, oh, this is going to be fun. Because the way I look at it, if it ruffled your feathers in any way, shape, form, and fashion, that means it was intended for you. You, my dear, was the intended target. And the fact that I did receive a few responses that was telling enough. I think some people felt a certain way because they felt like the rug was being pulled from underneath them. They were being called out on their bullshit. And in some way or another, I guess you could say you were being called out on your bullshit. People need to come to the realization that it's no need to continue to hide who they are. And again, no judgment. If this is the lifestyle that you choose to live, do that. But be authentic about it. Don't run from it. Don't try to conceal it and half-ass it. Because again, there's going to be individuals like myself who will take the time out to say, okay, let me look into some more details about this person. And we'll more than likely come across some details that you might have thought you swept under the rug and no one would ever notice. Don't take that chance. A few of the women that did respond to my video happen to be more so, uh, I guess you could say, golf girls, um, you know, the ones that proclaim that they love golfing and anything and everything pertaining to it. All the while, um, I think the reason why that might have struck a nerve with some of them, because maybe a few of them know exactly who I was referring to in my video without even saying their name. Part of the reason why I chose not to say their name was because they're not worth it, in my opinion, to even acknowledge their name. Um, so one thing I was going to say also, I, I think it's telling because if we even talk about those type of women who surprisingly out of nowhere have this major love for golf and everything that's tied to it, a good majority of those women, we know what you guys are up to. Let me know why you guys are really in love with that golf course. And it's a lot deeper than just swinging that, you know, tool and actually, uh, you know, trying to get a hole in one. Not in that sense. Um, it's so funny because you guys use that as a cover up in a lot of ways and think that most people are blind to the fact of what really happens off the golf course with those very individuals that are on there. And it's amazing because I'll give you an example. I remember I had it <laughs> in my college days, I had a few friends that actually uh, did that as a, a side job, right? And I remember you know, at the time I was working on my undergrad, I was actually interning too. So internships um, or work study, some of you guys may have heard the title work study, uh, where you're paid to work a certain amount of hours doing things that is, uh, you know, either working within a certain department in the school you're attending or maybe working for other various companies, as long as it's something that's contributing to gaining knowledge about the field of study you were taking on, all the while you're still making a paycheck, a legit paycheck. Granted, it might not be much, but it's something, right? And then there's some people who choose not to take that path because it's like little to no money and may choose other routes to make money 
um, doing extra things, if you catch my draft. I remember I actually had a few friends and I haven't kept in contact with them for quite some time. But I do recall at the time when they were, and they probably still are doing just that, working on the golf course. They were doing uh, a lot more than just, you know, driving around in the cart, if you will, with some of these um, men who were on the golf course. The cat's out the bag. So I remember during that time, one of my good friends actually tried to get me to jump on board with it. I'm like, eh, I'm good on that. Because you see, when you think about it, think about the number of, I guess you could say, companions or people you'll end up rubbing sh shoulders with. Um, where it can go to a deeper level where you're doing more than what's on the golf course. And granted, you'll make money, I'm sure of it, because that's the intent of doing that extra, right? Let's be real about it. But think about when you walk away from all of that. Are you walking away with your dignity? Are you walking away with the sense of knowing that you did not succumb to something like that? And think about the type of reputation you're building. Not only with those very individuals who are on the golf course looking for a little fun, yeah, and just swinging the instrument, if you will. But at the same time, you know, think about the type of reputation that you're developing amongst those who are aware of what you're doing on the golf course as well as off the golf course. It's a lot to consider. Now, let's be honest here. We know why a majority of you women who tend to travel quite frequently to that golf course, we understand why you do it. We know. It's a lot deeper than just being able to get out there on the green and swing that golf club and jump around and flaunt your ass in a mini skirt. You're not doing it just for yourself. You're just doing it for the onlookers in hopes of gaining more of a profit from it. Let's be real about that too. To be quite honest, it's quite sickening and it's pretty pathetic because it shows that you don't have a strong love for self, a respect for self. If you think that all you really have to do is just get out there, bend over a little bit, make a few bucks, and you're rich. The fact that people could honestly think they could operate in that mode and be able to continue to do so and you know, live off that type of lifestyle is just beyond me. Again, the reality in all of this, don't you want to be remembered for something more than just that? And you're putting your goods out to the world to see in hopes of gaining a few bucks from it. You know, what does that say about you as an individual? How can you expect to gain a following or gain some low level of respect or notoriety, if you will, if you project yourself in such a fashion as that? In order to earn respect, you have to give it, true enough. But part of that too, in the process, you have to show that you have some level of respect for self as well. Let's not forget that. It kind of reminds me of the example when you find a woman tries to pretend like she loves a certain sport. Only reason why she started loving the sport is because her significant other or maybe her male friend, if they're not dating each other or in a relationship with one another, Maybe they happen to love that sport. So in some form or another to bond with them, they force themselves to love it. Again, is that being hashtag authentic? Or is that just showing you and showing the world that you're just full of crap? I don't know about you guys, but I would rather be authentic because of the fact that at the end of the day, being false can only go just so far, right? After a while, as a human being, as a a being in general, you're going to get tired of it. As the saying goes, you're going to get tired of faking the funk. Like, why continue to do it if you know it's not who you authentically are as an individual? Think about this also. That individual that you're doing it for, how are they responding to it? And also, um, do you find it that they too are being inauthentic for the likeness of you? Or do you simply see it being a case that they're just simply living their life, not giving a damn of who likes it or not? 
pay close attention to that too. As far as any takeaway that I hope that one would gain from this conversation is just to be authentically you. Don't alter your own everyday existence or your own approach just because you're trying to appease someone else. Because again, as I mentioned in previous videos, when you came to this plane, you didn't come in giving a darn, giving a damn <laughs> about what the next man had to say or how they felt. Why change that now? Think about how you feel in doing so and trying to fake the funk just so you can appease this individual or group of individuals. How's that been working out for you? How do you feel when you're doing that and when you're in the process of doing it, if you will? Think about the times when you are not in that mode. You're simply focusing on you as the individual. Which side matters to you? Would it be to continue to be inauthentic? Or would it be to just simply be authentically you? Hands down, if I had to say, simply being you, or in my case, simply me being me, is what matters to myself the most. I found that with my own everyday existence, when I started to shift gears, because I too was once one of those individuals, you understand? I'm not a golf girl, no offense to you guys, but again, since we kind of, we all know what's going on there, I would never go down that path. It's, yeah, I have too much pride to do something like that. But um, in reference to being one who lived to try to appease others just to be able to rub elbows with them, things like that, I realized that I was making myself miserable. I wasn't being authentically who I truly am as an individual. When I got to a point where I stopped giving a damn and said, I'm gonna focus on Jessica and what Jessica wants to do, I mean, again, it was a weight lifted like no other. I would just hope that more people would start to get into that mold and see the fruits of it in doing so. Because at the end of the day, you are the one that has to live with this vessel. You're not gonna be glued to that individual or group of individuals all the time. You may see them a few times out of the week or maybe months, whatever the case may be. But at the end of the day, when it comes to this being, the only individual who has to deal with it is you. Think about that. Oh, nose are turn. Okay, so, well, that is all for today's video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Um, as I mentioned to you guys, I'm getting quite a bit of responses, and I have been for some time now. I'm seeing an uptick in terms of um, views and people joining my page, my, and my other pages, actually. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> Nose is itching like crazy. Um, but I'm noticing an uptick in all of those areas, and it's, it's a beautiful thing to witness. Uh, definitely keep it coming. And I also noticed that I am getting some responses. As I mentioned to you guys, my responses have been, for the most part, very positive. But then you have a few that are coming in that are now feeling at some type of way because apparently the shoe fits. Can't do anything about it. And sometimes these type of conversations need to be had because it's revealing one's shadow. They may not even be aware of. And sometimes having these type of conversations is gonna help to pull it out so they can start to see things for what it is and start to make changes, hopefully. And don't do it because I'm encouraging you to do it. You have to go within yourself to realize, okay, she has a point here. Am I ready to make that leap, to make that change? Because obviously there's a part of you who feels a type of way about it, that feels guilty or maybe shameful because you know you can do better, right? I mean, if it's to the point where you chose to send a lengthy response because you felt like you were being attacked, what does that say, right? And the fact that it came from more than just one of you, it was actually, I think I have received at least three uh, not so great responses and it wasn't like, a direct attack to me. They knew better. They, ne they knew not to cross that line with me because I would eat them alive. But in reference to the verbiage that was used in the email or in the DM that I received, that was telling enough. I knew I struck a nerve with the three of you and that's why I'm doing this video response now, 
just to address it. So I say this going forward, anyone else who comes across my videos, you know, just take a step back and think about it. If it's something in the video that hits you a certain way and you feel attacked or offended, whichever word you wanna go with, there has to be a reason behind it. And that's something you have to take into consideration and go within self to find out why and how you can change that. Because my words, granted, they're meant to be, to spread messages of positivity and realism, true enough. But again, as I mentioned in previous videos, if it struck a nerve with you, that means you were the intended target for that message. And that was more of a sign to you to analyze why that might be the case and how you can change that. I would just hope that people would take that into consideration going forward because I will be putting up more content, rest assured in that. <laughs> and as I like to say in most of my videos, a lot of you who have figured it out already, this girl, this lady right here, she shoots from the hip, no holding back. Like when I see a target, if I need to take it on, I'm going for it. Please do understand that. And please do understand that when I do so, I do it with good intentions, not to be mean, but I truly do it with blinded love because, and the reason why I say blinded love is because of the fact that I haven't seen pretty much, you know, majority of you guys' faces. I've only seen a few from those who sent me pictures and emails about them and their family. But just know that I come from a good space when I do these videos, even if it might bite a bit, but just take it as tough love, okay? So yeah, with that being said, some of you guys with love and light, and I'll see you in the next video. Again, uh, consultations are open. There are a few spots available since we're coming towards the end of the week here. Definitely take advantage of it if it is something that is of interest to you. Um, again, even for those who feel attacked um, when it comes to certain videos I put up because they feel like something has struck a nerve with them. If you feel like you want to have that conversation, just have that one-on-one -on -one consultation. I am all here for it. Um, that's what I've been doing outside of what I do in terms of my own everyday work. I do actually work another job <laughs> and have other things I have to tend to outside of this. But it, this is something I love doing on the side as well. And, um, you know, if I can help others in other ways to be able to dig deep and to address those issues in some form or another, I'm all for it, which is why I offer the consultations. Um, so definitely take advantage of it if it's something that is of interest to you. If you're having any issues with choosing uh, appointment date and time in terms of the calendar via the link below, um, you can reach out to me through email, uh, my other social platforms, through DM messaging, whatever works best for you. I will receive it and then we can schedule the date and time from there. Okay, so as always, um, I'm sending you guys with love and light and I'll see you in the next video.